large language models are trained on the data of past. So for instance, if you are using a model which was trained on a data, but tomorrow that model will be outdated because it doesn't know what has happened today or what will happen tomorrow. In order to keep the information within the model updated, there are various techniques which we use. One of the techniques is called as a RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. In very simple words, what happens in RAG is that whenever we ask a question from a model, we also provide it the latest context. Or in other words, for example, you are using Llama 2 model and you want to use it with your own company's data. Now, Llama 2 model hasn't been trained on your company's data. So how do you provide that context to the Llama 2 model? This is where RAG in, comes into play. What we do is we create embeddings or numerical representation of your own company's data and store it in a vector database or in an embedding database. Then whenever we ask a question from an LLM, we pass that context or embeddings or vectors to the LLM. So now Llama 2 model or any model which you are using not only has its own data, but it also has that context around it. Now it can make much more informed decision. So this is called as fine tuning a model or a rag. Now the storage where we store these embeddings or vector is called as vector database and there are numerous numerous vector databases out there and more and more springing every week pinecone is one of my favorite vector database because of various reasons first it's quite easy to use plus it gets integrated with a lot of other tooling and just recently they have announced integration with amazon bedrock in this video, I'm going to show you one of their blog posts where they have discussed how you can integrate Pinecone with Amazon Bedrock. Unfortunately, Amazon Bedrock is still in private preview, which means that you cannot use it until they release it publicly. So it is quite interesting that Amazon has asked everyone to not to disclose how Amazon Bedrock really works behind the scene, but Pinecone has shared it publicly. So I believe we can also share it in this video and I will drop the link to this blog for proper credits and stuff as how um, this integration works. And I'm just going to show you a few of the screenshots from this blog. Um, I hope that Pinecone won't mind. Anyway, so uh, there are a few inherent concept in this uh, integration of Amazon Bedrock with Pinecone. They have a very good diagram. If you allow me, let me show you that diagram. So look at this diagram and let me try to explain it in very simple words. So what is happening here is that, for example, you have a lot of PDF documents containing your own company's data. You upload those PDF documents into S3 bucket, which is Amazon S3. Amazon S3 is a managed service from AWS where for the object storage, where you store everything as object. Okay, let's suppose you have stored all of your PDF document into that S3 bucket. Now, what would happen is, first, we will create numerical representation of those PDF data and store it in Pinecone as vectors. Once that's done, whenever we will access any model through Amazon Bedrock, we will send that vector data as context with our queries to that model and that communication between that knowledge base or s3 bucket or vector and fine cone will be done through the agents for amazon bedrock at the very very high level now they have also described this process that first data is uploaded to s3 then data is pulled by bedrock and embeddings are created embeddings are or vectors are stored in pinecone and then knowledge base can now reference the data saved in pinecone the thing which i just described let me show you a few of the screenshots which they have shared so let's suppose you already have stored data in your s3 bucket and you have obtained pinecone api key and stuff and you already have access to it once that's done, first thing you need to do is to create the knowledge base. What it means is you need to create where you are going to store your 
um, document and then how would you put it in the vector database so you just give it a name and then i am role this is a data source so we are just specifying our s3 bucket and then um, we are this is, these are some of the field where you first have selected pinecone as a vector data store and then there are others too which you can select and then give it your api key and the secret name which will be stored either in parameter store or in the secrets manager once that's done there are a few metadata fields which you can specify and then select your model which model you are going to use and then uh, knowledge base which, which i just uh, which we have just created you have specified it and it could be many once that's done this is a summary of what you are going to create and then this is how you are going to deploy the agent from here this is uh, alias or agent which we, are, which we are going to create which, are, which is going to interact with this and here this is the example where we are talking to that model without that vector database where it doesn't have information and this is the example where we are talking with it so pretty cool and this very good blog uh, by Roy Schwaber Cohen has all the details I'm not going to go through it because I would really urge you to go to this blog and read it through because it is very nicely written all you want to know for this video the takeaway is that um, pinecone is really becoming central to amazon bedrock and i would highly suggest you that you go to pinecone's website and register there and i will quickly show you how it looks like obtain your api key play around with it i have a lot of videos around pinecone integration with cohere and a lot of other things where you can create embedding, see how the vector database indexing works, and you can search my channel too for um, more and more examples around it. But truly, I think this is where most of the development is going to happen in the future for generative AI, where companies will be storing their data in some sort of storage in the cloud, such as in AWS S3 or EFS, EBS volumes, or even RDS, or even I would say the general purpose um, databases or even DynamoDB. From there, the embeddings will be created, stored in some vector database like Pinecone. From there, the Amazon Bedrock agents will interact with the model, providing it the context from these Pinecone databases along with the question you're asking. And then they will provide the tailored and updated answer to the user. I hope that you liked it. And this is how the pinecone website looks like i'll drop the link of this too in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and please share your feedback thank you very much